How long did you and Peter Gould and the rest of your staff and the rest of your team and the rest of your uh, co-creator, uh, Peter Gould, and when, when did, how long in, in advance did you know about the finale that you mapped it out? How well, long ago we was had it? we were lucky. We had about 13 months in the writer's room. Right. I think is what it was. We had the longest time we've ever had. Uh, maybe it was more. Uh, partly because of COVID, partly because it takes us forever uh, to, to, to figure this stuff out. But we didn't know the ending at the beginning of that 13 months. We were kind of figuring it out as we went, as, as always. So probably, I don't know, a couple months before we wrote that last one, we had it figured out. A couple of weeks, maybe. A couple of weeks, well, huh? Well, all the little details, I guess, it, it took us... You know, it takes a while. It takes a while to figure all this stuff out. Well, and again, I, I just can kind of give a, a little heads up, and you were kind enough uh, in the back of, uh, in our back green room to give me the green light as well. You consider a week is enough of a time period to start talking about spoilers? Are it, you, you, you fine with that? You know what? I guess anybody who's uh, watching who hasn't seen it yet, just maybe, well, I don't want to no, tell anybody tell to, to turn out. Turn around, no, I, I, I don't want to But I understand that. if they do. Yeah. I understand if they would. Um, and then, you know, then return to this conversation later on because I just thought the ending was perfect oh, because, you know, because there's, you know, ways that either A, he would completely get away with it or B, he would wind up like Walter White, spoiler alert, dead on a floor. Right, right. Um, but him being incarcerated yeah. and having to pay his debt to society, yeah. which he particularly personally worsened because he copped to it himself yeah, yeah, yeah. because I guess he wanted to impress Kim Wexler. Is that what he wanted I to think do he or wanted redeem to himself? I think he wanted to atone. I think okay. there's a certain amount of redemption. The way we saw it is a little bit of uh, Dickens, A Christmas Carol. There's a little bit of redemption in there, self-redemption. And, and uh, I think he wanted to atone for his, his guilt and he wanted to basically apologize. He did it on a very operatic way that wound up uh, spoiler alert yeah uh that uh he was gonna get seven years in the penitentiary instead he gets 86 but <laughs> right but he seems to be doing okay at the end he's he's you know he's baking he's doing the same job he was doing at the cinnabon you know that's for, right yeah so he, you saw the way that yeah. they, he was the dough was being needed yeah, by the same machine. machine and everything so yeah. and that's obviously purposeful that you would do that sort of well, thing it right? just it's yeah one of those ironic things that he winds up doing the same job in in the federal pen in colorado that he was doing uh, at the cinnabon in omaha can yeah. you walk me through what were some of the other ideas that you had but discarded for the end of the show i wish i had some good ones for you rich i it all it's like we didn't really I mean, you know, you talk about everything, but I had some good ones for you for Breaking Bad. Right. Uh, but uh, I don't remember that many <laughs> this time around. It just felt like he needed to go to prison. It, it You know, Walter White died. Jesse Pinkman rode <laughs> off into the sunset, uh, went to Alaska, and uh, and uh, hopefully he got away with it. That's the guy that got away. Here's hoping. Knock on wood. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Jimmy really felt like he, you know, he needed to uh, to, to to go to go to prison because and probably because he's a lawyer. That felt like the most uh, uh, proper way to, to you know, the legal aspect of it. You know, getting going into the system felt felt right. So I don't, I can't really remember any uh, other good ones. Chris, you have a, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Vince. Uh, was there any thought of having him take the deal, do the seven, and be done with it? You know what? It felt. It actually felt uh, better. But that was kind of such a fun scene of him in front yeah. of the FBI and negotiating. Yeah. And hey, yeah. I got this. I got this. Yeah. Wait a minute. I want the ice cream. Yeah. Like, was there any thought of that being the end? No, because we wanted to prove he could do it. We really wanted to prove he was the best lawyer mm. uh, and and was was able to uh, to to basically you know, uh, win in, in, with this amazing uh, uh, bunch of legal talent, uh, right. you know, uh, arrayed against him. He was nonetheless able to, to you know, uh, uh, pull this off. So once, he, once we proved to aud the audience and he proved himself he could beat all these other guys, these heavy hitters at their own legal game, then we felt like, no, nah, he's, he's kind of he's got a, I don't know, it sounds very... You know, Judeo-Christian, you know, whatever, you know, uh, morality, whatever. But you know, it just felt like he he kind of had to he had to pay for his sins. Yeah, I thought it was cool it. Uh, that he pointed out that <laughs> the guy he was going up against, the FBI prosecutor, had never lost. I feel like right. that was kind of an important yeah. note there. And then he's like, well, watch this. Watch yeah, what yeah. I'm about to do. Yeah, Vince yeah. Gilligan here on the Rich Eisen Show. And <clears throat> I appreciate you bearing with me as I just suddenly lost my voice right there. Right here on the Rich Eisen Show. So. You didn't consider 
killing him off? You didn't. That, that wasn't an idea that you had. Yeah, that you just you thought. Know, just I don't know that anybody wants to see that. And our character of Lalo uh, always called him uh, La Cucaracha. You know, he's the cockroach. The cockroach yeah. And, and a, what does a cockroach do? A cockroach survives. And it just it felt it felt like it was appropriate that he that he that he lived.